What's going on, everybody? Crazy Dog back for another video. And they got some breaking Browns news as just a little bit ago, it was announced that the Browns have signed quarterback Drew Stanton, formerly of the Arizona Cardinals, to a two-year deal. Now, a few days ago, I heard the Browns met with Drew, but I didn't really think anything of it. Well, it's pretty clear that it was a serious meeting because uh, we just signed him. Now, what does this mean for the rookie that we're going to draft? Well, this means that whoever we draft most likely will not see the field this year. And I love that because I don't want to send the rookie out there to the Wolves too early because he's going to get ruined. You know, it's happened many times. We send the rookie out there before he's ready, and he gets freaking destroyed, and he's ruined forever. Whereas now we got Tyrod, who is our starter, and now we got Drew, who is the backup, and now the rookie can sit behind those two and learn from them like he's supposed to. Now, uh, I really love this signing because it most likely means that Cody Kessler's bum ass is out of here. And if you know me, you know my opinion and how, what I think of him. Cody Kessler is straight up garbage. Now, don't get me wrong. He was actually good his rookie year. I loved him. I thought Hugh Jackson's actually got something here. And then he started taking a couple of hits. And now he's a human statue. Literally. Literally. Every time he goes out there, the first possession he's out there, he gets sacked. At least once. Maybe twice. Heck, three times. <laughs> it's like when he goes out there, the first thing that comes into my mind is, we lost. Because there's no way in hell this guy is going to lead us to a W. Unless the starter miraculously comes back. Which, uh, yeah, who knows. But I love the signing of Drew Stanton. You know, it gives us a good quality backup to go out there and finish what Tyrod started in the case of injury, which I hope to God Tyrod doesn't get hurt. Knock on wood. I don't want to see Tyrod getting hurt. I mean, I saw uh, Jarvis Landry out there in Miami with uh, Tyrod and David Njoku and Carlos Hyde and even Ricardo Lewis, which really made me happy because uh, – Ricardo is working on his craft. You know, he's trying to gain chemistry with the new quarterback. And I absolutely love that. Too bad I didn't see Josh Gordon or Corey Coleman there. But, hey, you know, they're probably busy. I mean, I think uh, Josh is out in Cali or something. So might have been hard for him to get to Miami. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool to see Jarvis uh, with David Njoku and my quarterback, Tyrod Taylor. I have a friend who's a Bills fan. He loved Tyrod. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool to know that we actually got a good quarterback now. You know, someone who's respected around the league and who's not trash. That's the best part. He's not garbage. You know, um, I'm excited. This might be the most excited I've ever been for a Brown season. And it's only March and the draft hasn't even happened yet. So, uh, John Dorsey, if you're watching this video, if you hit on this draft, oh, I'm going to be hyped. <laughs> Damn, I'm going to be talking shit all offseason. So please, do the right thing. Get us a quarterback at one. You know, do that. And then uh, get us Barkley to put in this offense and make this offense, like, freaking amazing. Like, it's already good. I love this offense already. But if you get Barkley and put him in this offense, hoo -hoo -hoo, damn, we're going to put up 40 a game. Watch out. Todd Haley is going to have fun with this offense. I can't wait. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Let's go Browns. If we make any more moves, you already know I'll make a video about it, talking about it, giving my opinion. I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Browns. I'm out of here.